<laughs> Many years have passed. 2,400 hours of oil four have passed. And it took us this long to finally Not only Greece, not only Europe, we shall conquer Twitch itself. Oh gods, what omen do you have in store for me? What do the gods have to say today? What is the omen that this dream is under? Gods have shot an omen. It is the ship that I have to make today. What the f is it? It's a thing that you put. What the? F it says that I'm a. I, I need to go into ship. It doesn't matter. What matters is. Impareta Roma. Oh, that's like Assassin's Creed, man. Way Gentlemen, I think we have to play the tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll play as Rome and get a list of objectives to complete. Let's get in the tutorial, boys. Learn the game, because I heard that this game is very hard to learn. And then we do. And then we play. I just want to see the nations. I want to see the nations, man. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Damn, that's a big map. That's big, man. Wow. I like how it twists like this. Oh, it's cool, man. Egypt exists. That's so cool. Man, I'm, I'm having a f***ing orgasm here. I always give a lot of to Paradox, man, but I'm... Uh, Rome, Egypt, Katage, Seleucids, Phrygia. Okay, I think we go into the tutorial, man. God damn it. Let's, let's become the best Rome player on Earth, man. That's the goal, okay? Tommy K Esports coming to you. Uh, the glory of Rome. Welcome to the tutorial of Emperor Rome by completing a series of lectures. Senatus Populusque Romanus. For over 20 years, the Nascan Roman Republic has fought a harsh campaign against the Semnite people of the south. All true victory often seemed far from grass. The war ended in Rome's favor, resulting in the liberation of the important Greek city of Neapolis. Okay. The Semnites, however, having retreated to lick their wounds, are far from defeated. In the north, the Etruscan people eye the expansion of the Republic with apprehension. To the south, the myriad Greek city-states plot behind one another's backs, all the while appealing to their benefactor and green love for the Republic. Whenever you restart a new Paradox game, you're always like, what the f***? Okay, what's going on? Uh, during the tutorial, we're playing as Rome. The current date, which you can find in the top right corner of the screen, is the 1st October, blah, blah, blah. 450 years before the founding of Rome. Ah, after the, after the founding of Rome. I want to read everything. I want to learn this game, and I want to be good at this game. F*** you guys. Army maintenance, a lot of fleet maintenance, fort maintenance, and wages. Okay, then we have manpower. 
Rome gets 200 manpower each month from pops from subjects. To replenish the armies, there is a need for zero man, blah, blah, blah. Your base mana. That's kind of uh, hurts of ironish. Very hurts of ironish. The speed of manpower grows, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Military power. You get plus six. Base, ideas, and the consulus populus sempronius sompus. Uh, bless you. Military power or virtues to the Romans denotes the strength, courage, and honor. I guess every other nation has a different thing here, I guess. This value represents the accumulation of your nation's military potential, okay? Uh, civic power. Civic. This is kind of EU4, right? Uh, in a bit. Civic power, also referred to as gravitas by the Romans, is associated with the responsibility, finesse, and grandeur, and maybe spent on improving the many civic aspects of a nation. Uh -huh. uh, oratory power. I think this is the map, the diplomacy. Oratory power is synonymous with the Roman concept of dignitas, commonly denotes prestige, charisma. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. This is like religion, right? Yeah. Religious power, okay. <clears throat> so you need good characters. You see that my characters give me plus four, plus three. So the, 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 the character you have is very important. He gives you so many bonuses. Macro builder gives access to quickly recruit cohorts. And then we have stability effects of your blah, blah, blah. Stability can be between three and minus three. Okay, okay. Sacrifice to the gods cost, okay. Aggressive expansion. This changes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is like um, a f threatening in CK2. If you uh, grow big too fast, they, they fuck you. Aggressive expansion indicates how other nations are likely to view you. Mm -hmm. ah, if you have a lot of aggressive expansion, countries will consider uh, blah, 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 blah. Tyranny. Okay, I get it. I get it. Then we have nation overview government. I'm going to click on that in a second. Disloyal character. Ah, this is like what's happening right now. Invention. You can do a new convention and you have an omen. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that is the... Are the, oh, there's a ton of mercenaries. Holy shit, this entire map is nothing but mercenaries, man. The first navy. Blah. They have leaders. Okay, very hurts of ironish. I feel like this game is a mix of old paradox games. Oh, this is like uh, a duchy in CK2, Latium. Province loyalty, 100, and the population of it. And, and that's cool in this game. The, the population is very uh, specific. Look at this, uh, Roma. Let's look at the map. The map looks kind of uh, cute. The map looks cute. I hope not all the cities look the same. Okay, do, do these druidic cities look different? Ah, oh, they look different. Cool, that's cool, that's cool. We can trade away our locally produced surplus of iron to another province. However, by doing that, this will remove our capital surplus, making us lose the following bonuses. I also have a surplus in wine. Uh, I lose the following bonuses, maintenance and local freeman happiness. Okay, create route. Cre diplomatic reputation plus one. I don't know what that even means. Omen power, military tech investment. Okay, I used all my civic power for inventions now. Okay, cool. Exotic gift. Wild beasts from far corners of the earth make for eye-catching and exotic gifts. <coughs> Various merchants through the region offer a wide range of creatures, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can buy a beast. Your ruler will make a large amount of progress towards befriending Gnas. Ah, that's an event because I want to befriend that mother who is disloyal to me. So I pay 100, I 5k, and I buy him a tiger to make him like me more. Okay, this is very CK2-ish. A previous unknown gladiator has recently risen to great prominence in the arena, drawing huge crowds, blah, blah, blah. A well-placed box seat could easily win over Gnanus. I lose 25 civic power. Can you go into the minus? You can. Okay, I'm trying to make him a friend. I don't know why. Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, here, achievements. Ah, oh, cool. Appoint a dictator and have the same time voluntarily stand down. Research for the inventions. Conquer city. Settle new provinces. Migratory tribe. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Completing the Olympic Games. Wow. Survive a civil war. This is easy. Survive a civil war. Have any own city with 100 more civilian value. Form Greater Iberia. As Rome own and have at least 70 civilization value in every city within the Palestine region. What? Own or have a subject own of all of Hispania. As Rome conquer, blah, blah, blah. As Macedonia own, own the region of Greece. Uh, medium. Have at least 9,000 population. Uh, the Romans are crazy. Form Gaul. That's cool. As Rome own and sack the city of Carthage. Form Egypt. Enact the Egyptian success law and conquer the regions of Nubia. New kingdom. Uh, as Epirus own Rome. Form Albion. I, I'm so... Uh, I don't know about this time period, man. I don't know what Albion is. Adopt the Empire government form. As boy. Boy! The boys of... As boy. What? As any Greek Republic owned the entire region of Greece. <coughs> That's like a spot achievement. 
as each would own all the wonders of the world. Oh, there's the wonders? Wait, let, let's read that first and then I look for the colors of Rodas or something. As the Seleucid Empire or Bactria, blah, 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 form Persia, blah, blah. I want to play this game like crazy. These desecrate holy sites for at least 10 different religions. Have 15 trade routes in Byzantium. Uh, hard. Reform Alexander's Empire as a successor state. In any own city, produce a surplus of at least 10 fish. As a Vandal nation, own any province in the region, blah, blah, blah. As a Germanic nation, own every blah, 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 blah. As Rome, own every city, it just... On the Mediterranean Sea, Mare Nostrum. <laughs> as the nation of Megalopolis, what the hell these two, two? Well, Conquer the world. As Sparta, conquer and sack Persepolis. Man, there's a lot of achievement. Very hard. We have five right now. As Mosilon, own every spice producing city in the world. Kingdom of David. Starting as a Jewish nation, own the regions. Okay. Starting. Starting as a Hindu, Buddhist, or Jain nation, which is not the conquer, blah, blah, blah. Starting as Herakla Pontica. Form Persia, blah. Form Poenicia, own at least 500 ships and produce a surplus of at least 5 dice. Holy. Is it because I don't see it? I also. Where's the pyramids? Oh, here. Oh, that's cool. What do they do? It doesn't show me. It already seems like in this game, especially if you think about multiplayer, if you kill someone, if you rush someone, he can never recover. What if I kill you and you want to recover? I'm just gonna kill. I'm just gonna go everywhere and you can never raise up an army. And you have to buy mercenaries, I guess. Uh, uh, Publius the Dumb. As the saying goes, Publius the Dumb is simply not the sharpest gladius in the sword's rack. Is that me, Publius? Is that me? I became dumb? What is the CK2? I'm dumb. <laughs> getting there, we're getting there. I hope there's no attrition. I, I play so many Paradox games, I'm like scared that these 30,000 people are going to attrition. I think the army sizes are too big, historically. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, so, I'm not building anything anymore, so I need four more cohorts. Four more, okay. I'm, I'm starting to learn, starting to get this. One, two, three, four. I feel like, you know what I like about Paradox games? I like Paradox games that are super slow. Where you have to, like, take your time, like CK2, like, take your time and read. Dude, Macedonia is so big. Sparta is gonna have a big issue with that, that's for sure. Mili oh, you can choose a military tradition. Oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Light infantry, terrain morale. So, if you play Rome, you have so much heavy infantry that you should always take the principles. Sure. Veteran warriors all, blah, blah, blah. Heavy infantry discipline, plus 10. Is uh, discipline like the organization? What is the health bar? Current moral. Experience. Experience and moral. Moral. What does discipline have to do with anything? So I need to build eight training grounds. How do I do this again? Uh, I click on this. I click on construct buildings. I click on marketplace, a uh, uh, training camp. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, I'm so rich. I guess it's tutorial. That's why you're so rich. Oh, this is like, oh, there's like a council. Oh, like CK2 council. Oh, fit Diana. Senate is divided over the approval of this imprisonment. Sabinia. The hill dwellers, the hill dwellers, known as the Sabini, occupy the lands to you north. Fabricate a claim upon their land by opening diplomacy and selecting fabricate claim. You do not need to fabricate a claim upon both the provinces, either will do. After you have a claim, make sure your troops are in good position and declare war. To declare war, open diplomacy, select the war. Uh, you will then need to select the casus belly if you have, if, if you have show superior, what, sorry. So show superiority or show naval superiority, second you will suffer a stability. The Sabini will try to put up a fight, but the Roman numbers should prove more than a match for them. Rome gains 300 power. Sabini. Sabini? Is it? No. Who's that? Who's Sabini? This guy. That. This guy. I can just choose any, right? It's like Hurts of Iron. We now have... We now have a claim. Wait, I just got the claim in a second? Uh, okay. Call allies. I... This is my allies, right? I don't want to call them. So... We declared war on Sabini with the war goal of blah blah blah. Imminent battle. A battle will begin here, blah, blah, blah. It is very likely our side will win. Our side has this. They have this. Why? I can't see the terrain. We are victorious. I'm attritioning you. What is this? The occupation will be finished in 27 days. We are victorious. Look at this attrition. Baby Jesus. Calm down with the attrition. Okay. I already took everything. It's not like CK2 where they have four things. I totally took everything here, right? Siege is one. Okay. Pause the game. Sue for peace. Uh, demand. 
will increase your rank to regional power. What do you mean? We have increased in rank on and we are now a regional power country instead of a local power. So every country has like a status. Since we are now an independent country with at least 25 cities, the following special rules now can happen. Threaten war, have alliances, guarantee other countries. And you also get one more trade route, free relations, more diplomatic range, and government bonus multiplier. Uh, they accept that. The Sabinian elite. After a protracted conquest, we have finally routed the Sabinian armies and laid waste to their lands. During the sacking of the capital, many important prisoners were taken, blah, blah, blah. They now languish in our dungeons, awaiting whatever fate they want. Okay, now I can do something with that. Man, I like the events, man. This is cool. This is cool. Uh, every character in Sabinia will be put to death before cheering crowds of Rome. Gives me five popularity. Um, I lose aggressive. This is aggressive expansion, right? Yeah. Uh, important Sabinian kings will be imprisoned by Rome. I lose three popularity. So why would I do that? You will be able to decide what to do. What? Pass judgments on them. You will be able to decide what to do with each dead. I mean, let's get the five popularity, I guess. And let's reunite the army in Rome. Okay, okay. Next quest. Next quest. Finish off the Semnites. Ever since the first Semnite war, Rome and Semnum have been at each other's throats, fabricated claim, and lay waste to their armies. The Semnites. Uh, is there like a thing where I see everything better? The Semnites. Saminum? Is that. It means that one? Okay, I'm uniting the army. Am I kind of done with the tutorial? I think we're done with the tutorial. I think I can start playing real. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Think it's time for Sparta? I think I know what to play now. <coughs> I think I know what to do now. You know what? This. It's time. It's time, boys. In the next episode of Imperator Rome. Humanum est no mutas. E Roma invicta. Becominus subscribius. Facerius la non sabius. La madre emon. Tommy K will be playing Rome. Subscribe and click the bell to watch Tommy do a world conquest as Rome. For now, that is it for this video. See you in three days with another Imperator Rome video. She's lifting my fingers like sand. Heard that she had a man. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Oh well, ship sail. She's lifting my fingers like sand. Heard that she had a man. Now I'm just sitting here sad.